When we use the word venomous, snakes and spiders are the usual candidates that come to mind. And whilst there are plenty of those on this list, there are some other nasty and unexpected critters. This is Fact Files, and we present to you the top 10 most venomous animals in the whole entire world. Coming in at number 10, we have the Indian Red Scorpion, also known as the Eastern Indian Scorpion, or by its scientific name of Potentota tamulus. It is mainly found in India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Despite its tiny size of 2 to 3.5 inches, it is considered to be the deadliest scorpion in the entire world. It does not seek out to hurt humans, but if left threatened, it definitely will leave a very nasty sting. The clinical fatality rates range from 8 to 40%, with children being the top victims. It has a deadly neurotoxin where if stung, a person will present with symptoms of vomiting, sweating, breathlessness and alternating high and low blood pressure and heart rate. If left untreated, a sting from this little critter will cause death within 72 hours. I would definitely not like to be bitten by this nasty little thing. Coming in at number 9, we have the funnel web spiders. And yes, that is spiders with an S because there are close to 40 species of these spiders and of course they reside in Australia, the land of the beautiful, the bold and the deadly. However, not all 40 species are known to be deadly. The ones that are are super deadly and is said to be double the effects of cyanide. Its venom is very fast acting and can kill a human in 15 minutes. If bitten, humans will also show symptoms of a rapid heart rate, increased BP, difficulty breathing and numbness around the mouth. These spiders love to burrow themselves in moist, cool and sheltered rocks. They are also black in colour and the front of their bodies are shiny and hairless. They range between 1.5 to 3.5 centimeters and have fangs capable of penetrating a fingernail. Very scary indeed. I would not like to bump into one of these. Coming in at number 8 is the Dubois Sea Snake, also known as the Reef Shallow Sea Snake or the Ipusiris Dubosi. Its geographic locations include New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, and the coastal areas of Australia. They can grow up to 140 centimeters, which is approximately close to 5 feet, very long indeed. The Dubois sea snake is renowned for its venom, making it one of the most venomous sea snakes and the third most venomous snake in the world, right behind the inland taipan. When bitten, one may experience paralysis, blurry vision and difficulty swallowing. However, the good news for you is that they are medium aggressive and do not bite spontaneously only when provoked, but next time you think of going for a dip into the ocean, remember the Dubois. Coming in at number 7 is the stonefish. Yes, a fish has made it on this list. When we think of fish, we think of tuna, maybe even Nemo, but who knew a fish could be capable of producing such venom? Apart from its venom, what makes the stonefish extremely deadly is its ability to camouflage and become indistinguishable from its natural surroundings where it just lays and then strikes when it has found its prey. The total length of the fish ranges between 28 to 47 centimeters and is found throughout the coastal waters of, you guessed it, Australia, the northern half in particular. The most unique thing about this fish is that it has 13 sharp and strong dorsal spines that contain two venom glands at their base. When provoked or disturbed, the fish erects its spines and can cause multiple envenomation. When envenomed, humans will experience symptoms of muscular paralysis, shock, breathing difficulties and sometimes even heart failure, followed by death quickly after. So next time you take a dip in the ocean, just remember the stonefish, please. Coming in at 6th place is the Brazilian Wandering Spider, also known as the Armed Spider or the Banana Spiders. They are found in, you guessed it, Brazil. However, some can also be found in Argentina and Costa Rica. 
These spiders are quite large in which they have bodies that can reach up to 5 centimeters and leg spans of about 15 centimeters. You are probably wondering why they are called the wandering spiders and this is because they do not build webs but just wander on the forest floor at night. They mostly hunt at night and spend most of their days hiding under logs. Just like some of the animals found on their list, they only attack when they are threatened. But when someone is envenomed, they will experience symptoms of severe burning at the site, of which they were bitten, followed by abdominal cramping, blurred vision, convulsions, and excessive sweating associated with shock. Death will usually occur within two hours if a person has not sought medical attention. The Guinness Book of World Records has named the Brazilian wandering spider the world's most venomous spider for multiple years. So, if you have arachnophobia, it is definitely justified because of this wanderer. Coming in at fifth place is a snake, but not just any type of snake, it is the boom slang snake. The epitome of the phrase, never trust a pretty face. Whilst it looks cute and innocent, it is highly venomous and contains a very highly potent yet unique venom. It is found in Sub-Saharan Africa and the countries include South Africa, Swaziland, Mozambique, Botswana and Namibia. The average adult is between 100 and 160 centimeters, so that's between 3.3 and 5.2 feet. These snakes are usually display a variety of bright colors, but they can also be brown. When bitten by the snake, people present symptoms of respiratory arrest, cerebral hemorrhage. The venom is hemotoxic, which means that it destroys red blood cells, disrupts the body's clotting process, bleeding from the gums and major internal bleeding. The process of this is very slow and victims can take up to five days to die. But luckily for you, these snakes do not bite unprovoked. They are described to be generally timid creatures that do not attack unless cornered. So please guys, if you find yourself in the wild, please do not corner the boom slime. Coming in at fourth place is, you wouldn't believe it, a snail. When we think of snails, we think of Gary from Spongebob or you know, just those innocent slow moving creatures that you may or may not sprinkle salt on. But this is no ordinary snail and it definitely cannot be kept as a pet. Coming in at number 4 is the cone snail. The cone snail is rather pretty, showing a variety of bright colours and patterns, some of them representing marbles. But do not be fooled by looks because this snail can deliver enough venom to kill you. It is typically found in warm and tropical seas and oceans worldwide. There are many different types of cone snails, approximately 500, and the most venomous is the one we're displaying here, the geographic one. When envenoming, they use a venomous harpoon to sting. They can cause muscle paralysis, vision impairment, respiratory failure. So next time you're thinking of ordering escargot on the menu, you'll think about this one, won't you? Coming in at number three, is an eight tentacled creature of the ocean. You guessed it, it's the octopus. But not just any octopus, it is the blue ringed octopus. Whilst it has a somewhat gorgeous exterior, almost psychedelic in nature, do not be fooled, this little octopus can kill you and very quickly in fight. Its venom is described to be a thousand times more powerful than cyanide and can kill 26 humans within minutes. When bitten by this octopus, it causes muscle numbness, vision loss, respiratory arrest. Unlike some of the other animals on this list, there is no known antidote, but victims might just be saved if you start CPR quickly. So if you've not taken your first aid course, I suggest you do it, and fast. But a very common theme on this list is that they do not sting unless provoked. So if you keep to yourself, you should be fine. They are found in tide pools, coral reefs from Japan, and you guessed it, Australia. They are known to be the world's most venomous marine animals. When provoked, they quickly change colour, becoming a bright yellow with each of the rings flashing a bright blue. They spend most of their time hiding in crevices. It is about the size of a golf ball, ranging from 12 to 20 centimetres. Coming in at number two is another snake, but it is the inland taipan, also known as the western taipan or the fierce snake. It is an extremely venomous snake that can be found in Central East Australia. It is considered to be the most venomous snake in the world, in which one bite can kill at least 100 fully grown humans. What makes it the most dangerous is that it is an extremely fast snake and can strike with extreme accuracy, often attacking multiple times at once. It is a dark tan colour and ranges from a rich dark hue to a brownish lightish green, depending on the season. It averages about 5.9 feet and some can even grow to be about 8.2 feet. 
If bitten by the snake, it can cause multiple organ system poisoning, headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, convulsions, kidney failure, slurred speech, seizures, and finally death. It does not seek trouble and will only attack when cornered or trying to be captured. So please do not corner the snake or it will be fatal. And finally, the moment you've been waiting for, number one is the box jellyfish, also known as the cuboza. Who would have thought that a whole jellyfish would take number one spot? This jellyfish in particular is found in warm coastal waters around the world but is mainly found in the Indo-Pacific region and northern Australia. It can grow up to be 10 feet long and 10 inches across. They are pale blue and transparent and their name is derived from their box-like shape of their bell. They have approximately 15 tentacles and each tentacle has about 5,000 stinging cells. What makes it so venomous is that it contains enough toxins that attack the heart, nervous system and skin cells. The venom is so painful that human victims go into shock or die from heart failure. So next time you're swimming in the ocean and you see a jellyfish, please be careful because it could be the box jellyfish. This is Fact Files. Thank you for watching the top 10 most venomous animals in the world with us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let us know what you want to know about next time.